The nominal interest rate is the stated rate, and it does not take into account different compounding periods. The effective rate of interest does take into account different compounding periods. As an example, if someone invests $1,000 in an account that makes them $88 of interest over a year, the account compounds interest every two months, so six times per year, then the effective annual interest rate is 8.8%, .8%, $88 divided by $1,000. So what is the nominal annual interest rate? Since the nominal annual interest rate does not take into account different compounding periods, we know that the nominal rate will be less than the effective rate of interest. The formula to convert the effective rate of interest to the nominal rate is nominal rate equals the number of compounding periods times the quantity 1 plus the effective rate raised to the 1 divided by the number of compounding periods minus 1. Here is a short version of the formula. So plugging into the formula, we have nominal rate equals 6, the number of compounding periods times the quantity 1 plus 0 0.088 the decimal value of 8.8% raised to the 1 over 6 minus 1. I've done the calculations on the screen and we get the nominal rate equals 0 0.084937 or 8.49% rounded off. Alright my friends, hopefully you got something out of this video. I do have sh sh more videos right there for you. Till next time, I am out of here.